Well, good evening. Good evening. My name is William Lawson. Uh, this is Fight Back 2020, number nine. And this edition has to do with Black History Month. It is February 1st, uh, 2020, and it is the beginning of Black History Month. Uh, Black History Month was a, um, a heart child of a gentleman by the name of Carter G. Woodson, uh, a, um, a man born to slaves and uh, was the first uh, black person to graduate from uh, Harvard. Uh, he also graduated from Berea College eventually. Uh, he, he went there for a while and they figured out that, I guess they figured out that they weren't gonna have black people there and he was kicked out and then brought back and then went back later when they allowed black people and, and finished his bachelor's degree. And then later on went on to Harvard to earn a doctorate. And also got, I think he got his master's from the University of Chicago. Um, and this was kind of amazing because we're talking about that Carter G. Woodson was born um, early on in the century. In, in, uh, well, he was born in, in 1875. So all of this happened in the early part of the 1900s. Um, so it was, it, it, it's all more amazing that it happened so early. Uh, this is, if Carter G. Woodson was not, not, not the beneficiary of um, affirmative action or the Civil Rights Act. He was not the beneficiary of any of that. Um, the country was changing. Uh, and uh, he went around the country in, in 1926, basically selling a, 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 a program to school districts to have um, what he called a, black, a, a Negro History Week. To celebrate, not just to celebrate, but to educate um, school children on the accomplishments up until that point in history of the Negro in America. That has since turned into what we see now, Black History Month, and um, all the things that go with it, good and bad. So I, I wanted, to, I, I mean, I just, I, well, y'all know I had to talk about it, right? Um, you wouldn't have let me not talk about it. <laughs> you would not have let me not talk about it. Um, so why do you think that Black History Month is in February? And you hear a lot of people joking and not, you know, but joking, but not really joking that Black History Month is in February because it's the shortest month. That's not the reason why uh, Woodson wanted it in in February, it's because it's the birth of Frederick. It's a month, birth month of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, and he thought that was a great month to have a Negro History Month. And I'm going to say Negro History Month because this is what Carter envisioned. Um, not that I'm trying to be all Uncle Ruckus on your ass, but the idea is that it, it was. Woodson that called it Negro History Month because or Negro History Week because that was the terminology used in the day, and so we can just sort of get over ourselves about it. Um, my question is, why do we still have it? That's a question, and I think it's a legitimate question. Why do we still have it? Now I just watched a now this video on why and. Frankly, it's, it's full of young people because now this is run by fairly young people and pushed by young people to young people. They have a demographic, and that's fine. Um, one of the reasons why we still have it, uh, according to one of the young ladies in uh, the video, was that people still like to touch her hair. Hmm. Um Silly. So what I wanted to, I wanted to ask is, uh, is there a benefit? Is there is are we getting enough bang for our buck for Black History Month? Are we still getting enough bang for our buck for it? Um, is it is, is, does Black History Month is it stopping racism? Is it a time where you only talk about black people? Is it is it is it stopping or slowing down racism? Has it been a um, has it been an agent of change um, since 1926? Well, it's interesting. Well, we went through um, Jim Crow uh, a few de a few decades after 1926 at the beginning of the whole idea of of 
of Negro History Week. So in some areas of the country, I think the resounding answer is not right away. Not right away. It is fair to say that um, Negro History Week, then Black History Week, and now Black History Month has been an agent of change in the sense that uh, a lot of things that a bunch of people didn't know about, especially white kids didn't know about, are some of the accomplishments of, uh, of black Americans. That was that is undeni undeniably important. And I think that the blame or the responsibility for those facts not being naturally integrated into an American history curriculum falls squarely on the shoulder and on the back of educators in America. I know some of you who know who, who know me say that you're always hating on teachers. Well, I'm not necessarily hating on teachers, but I am hating on, on an educational um, system that had that intentionally decided that they were not going to integrate as their schools were integrated. Don't you find it interesting that a lot of people who were who, who were protesting and screaming for integration of schools, they were not protesting and screaming for in integration of curriculum? Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Um, so one has to wonder why they were screaming for the I mean for the for the integration of schools if they weren't interested in integrating the curriculum and bringing on facts about um, all the new black kids sitting in the classes, about their ancestors and the, the accomplishment of their ancestors. Why? Am I a conspiratorialist? Eh, not really. Um, but, so when Black History Week, or, or excuse me, Negro History Week, then Black History Week and then Black History Month became uh, more of accept more of an accepted thing that we would have all the time. This information being passed to young white kids uh, obviously was important and things that they would not have learned otherwise and passing this information on to black children um, that might not have gotten it from home and um, self-learning was t it was a lot tougher 40 years ago than it is now and with the advent of the internet self-learning has become infinitely easier obviously. Although, Carter G. Woodson was self-taught until he was at least 20 years old when he entered high school, Frederick Douglass High School, and didn't get to go to college until he was 25, so, uh, and was self-taught the entire time up until he went to high school at the age of 20. So, being self-taught was possible, but now it's much easier than it's ever been. Um, but this really helped having this information out there, so there were black heroes now that were connected to the American Revolution, people like Christmas, Christmas Addicts and many others. Um, there were um, black heroes connected to the Civil War. There were black heroes, in, like the 10th Cavalry. Um, there were black heroes connected to all the other struggles that we have um, been through in, the, in this country, not just in the Civil Rights Movement, but in, um, in the Korean conflict and Vietnam and in, and in politics, and there were black heroes in, uh, in economics that we just didn't, didn't know about. So in that sense, yes, I think that it is fair to say that Black History Month has been an agent for positive change. Um, it's unfortunately, anything that could be used as, as an agent for positive change can also be used as an agent of division. And I think, I, I think now that more than ever, uh, the Black History Month may be, may be being used as an agent of division and derision um, by certain forces. And that's too bad. Um, can Black History Month be used to stop racism? No. No. I don't think so. Racism is an evil thing that's in the heart of man regardless. And in people who, who believe that if you just educate people on this or that, then you can change their heart. 
No. Simply filling them with information without actually changing who they are doesn't do anybody any good. So as an agent of change, as far as, as stopping or slowing down racism, I don't believe that that's necessarily the case. Uh, spreading that information out is probably a good idea. But slowing down and stopping racism, probably not. Um, but another question I have, well, who should learn from Black History Month? Is Black History Month for black people? Or is Black History Month for, for white people? Is Black History a month, uh, a month for people to, for, for black people, to remind white people of the accomplishments of, of Americans of African descent, of their accomplishments, to remind you of that? Or is it a time uh, to remind black people, in America or black Americans, um, that there are that they they too have heroes in this American story? Are we using it for these things? And what lessons should be learned? Anytime I think that you that that you have something that that purports to be educational, there needs to be lessons that are learned. Excuse me, lessons that are learned, and then there needs to be some quantification at some point if those lessons will have indeed been be, be learned. I've said here on this platform a. Oh, hundred times that I think that most of the problems in the black community are self-inflicted self-inflicted social problems combined with bad economic uh, practices and if black history month my opinion doesn't turn to black people and start teaching black people these lessons some of the heroes that we have on the on that front are people like dr. Boyce Watkins now, Dr. Boyce Watkins and I do not walk around an ideological lock think for sure, and he'd be the first person to tell you that. But I think he would agree that a lot of our problems in our community are based on our, our bad economic practices. And that with a change there, a lot of the things that people hoped to happen with the, um, the advent and the pushing of Black History Month can be alleviated. I know I've, I've put a lot out here in a, in a short amount of time in about, I don't know how many, how many minutes. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking for a clock and I can't find it. Oh, about 12 minutes, 13 minutes. But um, I'm really not sure if we, do we continue Black History Month? Is this a time that we continue Black History Month? Or does it matter? Please answer below. If it's not hurting anything, do we can we continue, um, or do you find it detrimental? And don't be afraid to write in the comments if you find it detrimental. Your your opinion will differ from mine. I don't believe that it's detrimental, but I don't believe that it it is it is vitally necessary to the survival of the black race in America either, especially in its current form. Love to hear what you think. Thanks so much. Till we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.